Welcome back to the Spirited Shop. I'm the Spirited Maker, and today we are going to do a little review of something I just got from Amazon, straight from the Golden Shores of China, for $12.99. It is a soldering kit. So, let's put it together and uh, test it out. I got it for $12.99. It may have been a Black Friday deal, so I think it's normally like $25. So we're gonna hook it up and try it out real fast. Let's see if it's worth the uh, 12, thir the $13 I spent on it. All right, let's see. This is obviously the base. And this here, is what holds the soldering iron. I think I understand how it works. There is no instruction, so we're winging it. But I suspect you put one bolt on one side and then put a through bolt, put it through the hole, and then the bolt on the other side. Let's try that. Then the next bolt. Let's. Yeah, that's got to be it. I am not sure what this other hole is for, though. There we go. That is where the soldering iron will rest. While it's hot. Hmm. <laughs> this is the sponge. It's deflated. It's dehydrated sponge. So let me go with the sponge and it'll sit right here. That's what you use to clean the tip of the soldering iron with while using it. Give me a second. Let me go wet this dehydrated sponge and see if it has some bounce back. That's funny. It's paper thin. There we have it. A little bit of water and it bounced back pretty good. It's got some thickness to it now. So, that is the soldering iron holder. It also comes with some tweezers, I guess to hold things in place. Kinda hard to see, huh? Tweezers. Not sure how much I'll be using those. This looks like a wire stripper. So it comes with a wire stripper. Yeah, for different sizes. Let's see what else? It comes with solder. I don't have a clue what this is. I think it's a, so yeah, it's for removing solder. You heat it up and this will suck it out of the, <clears throat> that's interesting. Solder removal. Comes with red and black wire. Not sure how useful that is. And the soldering iron. So let's get this out. <clears throat> Take a look at it. That's the tip it comes with. But what I like is it actually has a LED display for you to set the temperature with. All my other soldering irons are just dumb soldering irons. You plug them in and you get what you get. So this is adjustable. And this is a, I'm going to say a 90 watt soldering iron. I'll check it out just to be sure. All 
Okay, I checked it and it is an 80 watt. So it's an 80 watt. It also comes with different tips. I think I'm going to change the pointy tip out with one that has uh, we'll try with the one that comes with it first so let's hook this thing up and uh, let's see how long it takes to warm up I'm gonna get the tie wrap off and we'll let us plug it in. There we go. And it is set for 320 degrees. Let's go up to 330. So, I assume that will blink until <clears throat> it's at temperature. I'm not sure. So, let's set it here. Well, it's still not, it stopped blinking, so that's not it. I do not know if there's an indicator that will tell us when it's at 320 or 330. Let's find out. Let's give it a few minutes and then we'll uh, heat up some solder. Get the solder out. <clears throat> Out, you'll be able to see it, but it is flux core yeah. It's hollow and has flux inside the center All right Let's test it. Oh, it's definitely hot enough to melt solder. Oh yeah. I'm going to keep the tip clean. Oh. And there you have it. That's not bad for $12. So, like I said, <clears throat> it's a pretty complete kit. It's got wire cutters, different tips, tweezers, some wire, a solder remover, solder, the stand with a sponge, and a digitally controlled soldering iron, which it's pretty nice. So, uh, let me see if I can get it set up and we'll try to tin some wire real fast. See how that goes. All right, let's see what it takes to change out the tips. <clears throat> So, I have no idea, there's no instructions, but it looks like this unscrews, that, that comes off, and there's the tip, now we'll 
change it out for another. Okay. Seems to be it. Not much to it. So let's plug it back in and heat up the new tip. That thing got black, didn't it? And then we're going to try and tin the end of this wire. I can't guarantee I'll be successful because I am not good at it. But we're going to try it anyway. Win, lose, or draw, it's going to be a test. So let me uh, plug it back in and heat it back up, and then we'll try to accomplish something. Okay, am I claiming to be a soldering expert? No, I am not, but I am told that one of the most important thing is when tinning a wire is to have some solder already on the tip so it conducts the heat through the wire allowing it to transfer And like I said, I am by no means an expert in soldering, but I think we got that pretty good. But I will learn because I do need to solder certain things for better connections. All I know is <clears throat> the $12 I spent, this is a pretty impressive little soldering iron. It heats up fast, it comes with everything you need. I don't know if there's much more to say about it. And there you have it, my review of the very cheap soldering iron from Amazon. I will have a link down in the description below. Other than that, I think it will be a useful little uh, addition because it has way more control than my ancient soldering iron. So I look forward to using it some more so i could have used it quite a few times especially with this fine tip well with that i do hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching this review and if you haven't already please consider subscribing thank you for your time and as always friends god bless and i'll see you next time have a good one